Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is written and directed by James Gunn and is the latest movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, recently we've had a lot of flops, but is this one actually any good? Well, stick around and let's talk about it. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video and a spoiler free review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Very quickly with our cast, we've got all the pretty much returning cast as normal like Chris Pratt, Saul Saldana, Karen Gillian, Dave Bautista, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel. We have also got like a new addition this time of Will Poulter as Adam Warlock, which we'll get into. But basically the story this time around is the Guardians once again have to save the galaxy against the brand new threat, the higher evolutionary. Going into this movie, probably like a lot of you guys, Marvel have had some recent flops in my personal opinion. I haven't been huge in their last movies, nor have they been movies where I want to revisit them again if I'm going to be completely transparent. So going into this one, I didn't have high hopes whatsoever. I kind of just tried to go in open-minded, but I was thinking, Oh, here we go, another Marvel kind of movie. But I do want them to change the formula and I do want them to bounce back because I love Marvel movies and it's just a shame that they've had a rut, in my personal opinion. And what I can say after seeing this movie is that I believe that this is a step in the right direction for Marvel to an extent. It definitely has its good moments, it definitely has some heartfelt moments, but there is some clunky issues that we need to address. So firstly, let's just get straight into some positives. Absolutely, the highlight in this movie is Rocket Raccoon, once again voiced by Bradley Cooper. Yeah, in this one we actually get some backstory about Rocket, which I am going to be honest, it is absolutely heartbreaking and I was shedding a couple of tears. Yeah, so definitely I would say prepare some tissues ready because Rocket is a big focus in this movie and it's actually nice that we get some backstory, which actually kind of leads into our main villain here of the higher evolutionary and the backstory behind rocket really made you feel for the character and understand more about the little raccoon's journey this entire time and what the raccoon has been going through and the struggles that maybe they have been burying because of all these other experiences happening where the guardians have had to save the galaxy so to say so i definitely think that is one of the biggest and strongest points that james gunn's writ in this movie the helm it has that heart and charm to it that you will be able to really just soak into those flashbacks and really learn and really just feel those emotions and i definitely got to give the movie that it definitely had some tugging on the heartstrings for sure also once again you know all our cast are great once again i can say that everyone did a good job in terms of the guardians i wouldn't say that any of the guardians particularly were absolute standouts this time except from rocket as i've mentioned before the action set pieces and cinematography combined together are actually really well done there's some really cool action scenes here and the certain styles how james gunn has really kind of directed these sequences that we're used to he does that once again and it just provides for like an entertainment movie kind of. I believe this is around two and a half hours. So those action set pieces, I generally believe, were pretty good. And I was certainly entertained by them for sure. Which I also really can appreciate that this movie definitely leans into references with the PS4 Guardians of the Galaxy game that I have played and PS5 version as well. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed that game. So when I saw some of the references actually implored in the movie, I actually thoroughly enjoyed that because I was like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, I recognize that from the video your game actually and I thought that was actually pretty cool that they referenced it and acknowledged it and even threw in like a couple of easter eggs here and there so yeah overall I think that is actually pretty good and the music wasn't too bad it's definitely nowhere near the level of like Guardians of the Galaxy the original movie or anything like that but it definitely isn't too bad whatsoever now I am going to be honest I'm going to have to go into the negatives and those negatives I'm going to start off with Adam Warlock. Now, don't get me wrong, Will Poulter, for kind of like the script that he's given and kind of like to show up, like, Will Poulter is a good actor. I actually like him, and I think what he's given, he does an okay job, for sure. The issue is, though, how the character is written, because I feel like this movie has got way too many characters, and it tries to focus on way too many of those characters not giving enough of them backstory or enough material for you to actually care around them and because you don't 
you don't really care because there's times where Adam Warlock in this movie will show up, disappear, show up, disappear. And it's kind of like rinse and repeat. I'm not saying too much about spoilers. And I just felt, well, what was the point in the way, like having the character in the movie? I felt like it just wasn't really needed. And then the other big issue I have with this movie is the villain of the high evolutionary. Yeah, you will despise the villain, which is great. This is what you want to feel. But they spend so much time with other characters that a lot of them don't even get like fleshed out or backstory enough where you don't really care too much about the villain as it gets right towards the climax of what you really want to kind of throw the audience into caring about this villain and thinking wow what an you know a-hole you know you really want them to get their just desserts I just felt like it wasn't strongly as written as it should have been so therefore because of that reason it really holds this movie back from being so memorable. Yeah, that's I'm going to say that's pretty much my main negatives and I feel like what holds this movie back from actually being kind of like a top tier MCU movie in my opinion. It's definitely fine. It's definitely a good movie. It's a step in the right direction, but it doesn't fully execute those notes to be so memorable. And one last thing I want to mention is that this movie has two post credit scenes the first one is kind of important the second one is definitely a nod to the holiday special that's all i will say and uh, personally i wouldn't really wait around for it i'm going to be honest but if you want to of course a lot of marvel loyal fans will oh that's cool but it's nothing special that's all i will say so yeah my overall score for guardians of the galaxy volume 3 is between a 3 and a 3.5 out of five so have you seen guardians of the galaxy volume 3 are you actually going to check this out are you excited for this movie i'll leave any and all comments down below so we can continue the discussion down there if you've enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below so i can see you again on a future video i've also launched merch so you can actually get a hold of some did you see that official merch by clicking the link down below in the description box but over on my patreon membership start from two pound per month you can also request for me to watch movies and review them here onto the channel plus it includes so many more perks so definitely click that link down below guys in the description box to join patreon today and i also want to give a big thank you to all my awesome supporters over on patreon who help really support my channel and they also have youtube channels as well so their names will be down below in the description box please go subscribe to them and go show them some love and until the next time i see you guys i'll be seeing you later.